Yeah, local players. Dixon. Dixon. So he made it out there alive, and here he is uh, in the very first match up against Xiao Hai. And just as expected, it is going to be Elena versus Evil Ryu. But unlike some other Elenas, he is going with the healing, the go to de facto ultra. Multiple use, uh, but we have seen Sako in the past use the Ultra Combo 1 to pass through the Fireball. I believe Gamer B also employs that strategy, yeah. so you might be able to say that uh, Kindabu taking the more unorthodox method of retaining healing in this matchup. The reason why those other players go to the Ultra Combo 1 is because you can pass through the Fireball, which is very important, of course, in the Shoto matchup. And they can, of course, set it up uh, in their combos as well for more damage and uh, to close out games. So. Although, you know, Elena has become a very popular sub-character for many people, including, you know, Sien was uh, one of the first to bring him out. Gamer B, of course, had tremendous success with him at EVO. And Sako was the granddaddy of them all. Uh, I would say that Kinnavu, what separates him in a way, is that he's been able to extend the combos, FDC, after the Lynx Tail and get a little more damage output. From what I've seen yesterday, most players... Um, that's punishable, yeah. So that's minus 7 and then minus 9 and then like minus 13 uh, going in the order of light, medium, and heavy. So anytime you see the two revolutions of the uh, Link's tail blocked, that should be punished so long as he never doesn't FAD himself into safety. Yep. It seems as though uh, players are still not familiar with the, uh, the, the properties of the Link's tail. Yeah. So we're going to see if they'll be able to adapt to uh, Kinebu's Elena gameplay here. And uh, Xiao Hai is going to close out the round with some bread and butter Ava Ryu combos. Yeah. So if Xiao Hai is hitting his uh, combos correctly, I do like him in this matchup just because of the damage potential. Oh that yeah, that's Obviously right. this character is very famous for putting out. Oh, and nice. there you go, that scratch Clean. wheel. The only version of the scratch wheel to have invulnerability it's of all EX four version. versions is the EX. So you yeah. do have to burn a bar. I believe that was a nerf uh, given in one of the patches. But that's going to be the research, uh, the, res the gauge management, the meter management, all the more important. As you see now, Elena doesn't have any meter. She just got one now. But when she doesn't, it's very easy for Evil Ryu to jump in, especially with the uh, demon dive kick. Very, it'll be very difficult for her to... We really need a TO here. Uh, sorry. The yeah. Mic. yeah. The, I, I think yeah. it's... Yeah, yeah it's, it's he's still. like dead. They're, they've both taken it off. Um, can we get the young, the young tech here? Our monitor is also cutting out <laughs> more often than not. Okay, Shanghai going with a little random uh, jab uppercuts to get Kindevu off of him. Is oh, that slide's going to be punished, yeah. yeah. So Kindevu actually uh, was using that slide yesterday, the YOLO slide, very risky, especially on block. Um, but he had hit his opponent two or three times, but Shanghai perhaps taking a, a review of yesterday's matches. Nice, yeah, that standing medium kick is going to be so problematic for a lot of characters. But Elena, one of the few characters with a nice horizontal range that can match that move right there. Nice, balance match. Can he finish this combo? Doesn't get anything after. Ooh, nice safe jump. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Great jump in there for Kindu. And you really have to have a super Yomi for that uh, fireball jump because Elena goes so high into the air. You really yeah. have to preemptively predict that your opponent's going to throw a fireball. Otherwise, even if you make it in time, you're oftentimes getting uppercutted. Oh, wow. wow. Gets a counter hit. There's that Rhino Horn into the scratch wheel. And uh, oftentimes, Kinebu will end his combos in that manner just to extend that damage but because of that he needs to constantly build meter so he's a very active Elena can't really play the turtle style game because he's so reliant on his super gauge mm. I would say that the one advantage that Kinebu does have over all the other players is that he's warmed up from yesterday. Oh yeah, that's right. He has played the most uh, games here in Singapore as he earns a trophy, Shanghai Ultraman. Xiaohai <laughs> seems to be doing a very good job of uh, cornering um, Kinebu and uh, just keeping him there. So he's going to work for that ground again. Yeah, at the, at the tip of uh, the... Link's tail, quite safe. 
Whoa, big jump in there from Xiao Han. Gets a sweet combo in. Oh, nice oh, overhead oh, oh, oh. twice. Wow, overhead she flipped again. out. She <laughs> flipped out of that hurt, that fly animation. Yeah. Uh, it activated fly screen, but that probably wouldn't have happened on other characters. And that's very uh, indicative of the unique hurt box that yeah. Eleanor has. That's right. So Kidivu just launches into the raw healing there from uh, close to full screen. Buys himself a little bit of health. Goes really close to uh, getting knocked out right here. Ooh, sits on the fireball. Rare. Ooh, big jump in there. Gets the sweep. What's the setup? Ooh, Xiao Hai just going with the raw uppercut there. Close the round. So now Xiao Hai is up by two games and uh, Kinnivu is probably going to think about that character switch but now I think he's sticking with Elena here. I don't see that he would go for a character switch here. If anything, he might go for an ultra switch but now he has been quite loath to change away from his usual patterns and his strategy so it's going to be very difficult as he gets dizzy here. Xiao Hai probably going to connect these combos and when he does, he is a very, uh, he is a threat to take this tournament, or any tournament that is, that he's in. Xiaoi with the convincing perfect there in game three. And this is going to be a first to three, of course, for all of the matches until the finals, where we go for a first to five as he baits out that Shoryuken. And again, that's that standard kind of bread and butter. Has to burn a bar for it, but maximize the damage and gets good wall carry. Alright, Kinevo working on some corner control. Uh, right, right backs up for that healing, just wanted to extend his life lead. Yep. Shanghai can't really do anything except for triple dash forward and uh, pursue him with some Hadouken pressure, but that's not going to dissuade Kinevo from uh, yeah, the abusing that ultra combo. Yeah, the fireball is just probably going to stop him from charge, holding charge down. Whoa. Xiaoyu with just an inch of health nice. here. Clean anti-air again, close the round for Kindevu. So Kindevu has not been uh, pretty good with his anti-airs, about 9% or so. Yep. And that's really important. Um, very, very I would clean. like to see Shanghai abuse the dive kick a little more. Even uh, if it does get hit out by the anti-air, uh, oftentimes it will trade and gonna... Nice whip punish there from uh, Kindevu. The stand like into the Link's tail. Ooh. Oh my Gets goodness, gets Bravo. very lucky on that. That uh, scratch wheel uh, actually has seven frames of invulnerability, so a very, very reliable anti-error, but at, woo, plants her into the ground. Like a farmer. Oh, yeah, there's a dive kick that I, yeah. I think that he should be going to more as he burns a bullet. That mallet smash actually has a set distance, and that was the incorrect one. I was gonna just chill at the back. Okay, but he has this. He's gonna take the life lead with it. Nice. Ooh, nice. Evasion as he forces the issue. That's one of the few ultras that can make the opponent do something. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It's, it's, there's a very good use for it. It baits the opponent to come forward, right. break that charge, and he might get a little bit hasty in his attack. So this is quite different from um, the Rose's orbs, whereas you sort of sit back and become very defensive. And passive, right, yeah. Then, conversely, Elena's healing will often make the opponent come to you. Yeah. Because it's very aggravating that why is it in this <laughs> fighting game are you able to activate... Build back your HP that right. you've, you've rightfully lost. So Breaks the rules of the fighting game That's and right. creates the zombie character. We hope that you uh, purchase the Horror Pack DLC. Oh yeah, with all the Halloween costumes for all the characters. Is it a Halloween or is it more... What was Boxer? Oh, I can't really remember. But I like the, I like the Rose one though. So I think you're going to check out your headsets first, right, before they get the next game going. The horror pack uh, for Boxer is just him in a throwback jersey. Oh. Um, I'm not sure they're, they're dialing, <laughs> they're Somebody tindering each other. One. 
Oh my god, Yongda disappeared. No, they're checking out the, the, the headsets before they start the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper. Which is fine. Yeah. Dead and nine. Go, man. Uh, shit. We're going to try and get the uh, technicians onto the matter. And why don't we take a short little break? Everyone go to the bathroom, wash your hands. Remember to use soap because it's kind of pointless to wash without it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And the thing is, right, after you wash your hands and you open the door to go out, that is the final <laughs> stage. That is the Akuma. Uh, you should always get some uh, paper towel or something to open the door. Otherwise, that negates the entire it's a vicious cycle washing and, of the hands. Uh, so yeah. we're going to take a short break and we'll join you shortly after yep. our technicians, our wonderful lemmings and gnomes uh, fix Okay, we are back. Our magical technicians yep. have sprinkled their fairy Quick dust over our streaming setup from yeah. uh, the lovely... So we've got a really uh, great opening set uh, going on here between Xiaohai and Kinder Vu. Xiaohai is already up by two games and uh, Kinder Vu just crawled back one. Uh, he's going to look to tie up the set here and go to the final round. Mm, there's that YOLO slide that we said that uh, he's nice. been employing to great success. And that scratch wheel only going to get a couple of hits on the juggle, so the EX person gets a lot more damage. Oh wow, the wake up low medium punch. Very interesting uh, choice of Okizeme from Kindevu as he takes the first round in this and you fourth match. You see that uh, Xiao Hai is really not afraid to just throw that uh, heavy uppercut, challenging the uh, pokes of uh, Kindevu there. Oh, gonna, oh wow, well, landed on it. And the thing with Elena is that she has a very floaty jump. Floaty jump, but. Oh wow, that Malice actually didn't make yeah. it over the Hadouken. She actually has almost an invisible hurtbox, great at air to air, uh, when she's in the air and doesn't press any buttons. So you can see that she landed on that uh, Hadouken, even though maybe other characters would. Wow, so many wake up uppercuts from Michelle Hyam. Yeah. Perhaps a new YOLO charge employed just to throw his opponent off. Yeah, definitely. He's almost out of message, resources yeah. is Kendevu. Great, that overhead very fast. The faster, she has two overheads. The faster one obviously does uh, less damage, 50 damage. So not that much. You can only um, get it combos after a counter hit. But the slower one doing more damage and gives you more frame advantage to connect. Does the EX Rhino Horn goes over fireballs? Yes, but yes. it's very difficult. It doesn't it's not have like a fast uh, startup or something. It's very, uh, yeah, it's not such a sure move. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, activate the healing. Okay, Ooh. you should not <laughs> have healed there. <laughs> this time he got caught uh, midway through the healing there. This is going to cost him definitely. That was... When someone taunts you too much. Yeah, that is, that is how you should respond. Yeah. <laughs> the challenge of challenges. Oh, wow. How is he jumping over the Shanghai fireballs with such a floaty jump character? As you can see, Kendavu not going to press any commit to any buttons in the air as he gets a very small hurt box until he knows that he has uh, successfully jumped over a fireball. But that's one way to deal with the trip guard. Nice. Mmm, great footsie. So despite being on frame disadvantage, the uh, Lynx Tail pushes her out and allows her to play footsies as the opponent wants to punish because they know they have frame-wise that, that, that ability, but the distance is just not measured correctly. Here, that should be punished, right? Mm. Hai finding a window in between both uh, Lynx Tail's extenders. He's got one more healing loaded. He can set it up here. But Buy now, because of uh, Shao Hai, what he did last. Okay, Ooh. let's see if he can get away with it. Yes, he does. <laughs> it's narrowly there, the uh, coaching medium kick. Almost connecting. Oh my goodness, and extends his combo. Oh, yeah, I only get one hit on that. He just built the meter. Oh, oh my wow. god! That anti-air from nowhere. So clean there from the second uh, hit of Kindibu. that target combo. I think that's the low medium kick. Yep. So good. Uh, had he not pressed a button, I don't think it would have hit. 
But Eleanor's anti-air, she does have a few choices other than the EX Scratch Wheel. That was one of them. Standing Jab is another. Um, oh my goodness. What is this? Play what? <laughs> oh, nice. Kindeva was saying yesterday that, uh, you know, he has employed the YOLO light kick scratch wheel. Wow, Xiao Hai just knew that she was going to focus attack there and blew it up with a two-hit red fireball. Oh. oh my goodness, they have gotten such a firm read on each other in this last match. As you can see, they're getting more and more bold with their predictions. Yep. And say, I know that you're going to do this, I'm going to commit to this EX Shoryuken. Oh, how is he? Are you... Does anyone see this? He's gonna take this round with that. Yeah. Psychic jumps there from uh, Kende Vu. <laughs> so meanwhile, Kende Vu taking the uh, round and walking straight into the two fireballs there. Okay, so that's what usually happens. Even though Elena had cleared out of the fireball, because it's too floaty, yeah. doesn't recover in time, and the shoulder character is able to uppercut. So really, okay, that was great from Xiao Hai to not commit to anything yeah, after that. So way second, out of range. oh no! Mm. Xiao Hai so good with these punishes, dissuading his opponent. That can get punished yeah, on the way down. He's gonna probably jump. Oh, okay, no, takes the healing in, but has to keep herself in the corner. Gonna FAD to the safety. Oh, that might hit. Yeah. That was a really risky bet because, um, again, the Elena jump is so good. It's such a small hurtbox in midair, but Shanghai committing to it, he's really gotten very bold. And that's going to send a statement into the next round. Don't jump in on yeah. it, bro. No jump whatsoever. And I uh, can't believe we're in a uh, tie here 2-2, two -two, mm. just the opening game. It's anybody's game here right now uh, with uh, the full in a slight live disadvantage. What? Oh. what? And he interrupt doesn't finish his combo, but very safe to not bait out any uppercut from Xiao Hai. And but Xiao Hai burns a meter for no reason. An erroneous hit confirmed. Thought that he had that low medium kick FADC combo. And what are these pussies are standing? Morgan low. That's not really a low. He's got FADC finish up this combo here. Lots of damage. Oh, in the corner. Gets that one extra hit on that juggle potential. Oh Ooh. my god. That was a rhino horn that went through it but didn't get it. Oh, the dangerous. So now Shahai still has two, two meters to do an FADC combo. He's still in this and... Oh, but what? He just burnt it. And she's running into a lot of combos. That's a safe slide. Very precise spacing from Kindevu on that last one. Oh my Ooh. god, and hit him on that. What? The that's gonna that. hit. That, yeah, that's a true block string on that second revolution. Other Link's Tail. Good calculation from Kindevu. And to take it back, really, that was a very yeah. surprising round as Shahai was so dominant in those first two he games. He made a very uh, smart EX mallet smash there, um, just close at the distance, hitting him on the tip and uh, getting close enough to set up the uh, Link's Tail. I like the evolution of those two players. Towards the end, they got very, very bold with their yeah. actions. They didn't shy away from it. They didn't think, oh no, my life is on, my tournament life is on the line for the first match. I want to play more conservatively. Rather, they got much more aggressive yeah. and committing to very uh, risky but high payoff. Yeah, I think one of the, uh, the, the most despicable ways you can use the uh, healing ultra is that when you already have a life lead, and you're still putting out the healing out, right? Just you as the rich become richer. <laughs> yeah, and the poor 